guy. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Nestor Bellio, international referee. Our second referee, Fernando Velarde, national referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Outside spiker from the University of the Philippines, number one, Isa Molde. Middle blogger from the University of Santo Tomas, number eight, Micah Ortiz. Center from De La Salle University, number nine, Mars Alba. Opposite hitter from the Ateneo de Manila University, number 10, Cat Tolentino. Outside spiker from UST, number 18, Cece Rodina. Middle blogger from De La Salle, Las Marinas, number 22, Cherry Nunag. Starting liberal from Anderson University, number 16, Tang Ponce. Head coach for the Flying Titans is Dante Alinsunurin. And now the starters for the PLDT Home Fiber High Speed Hitters. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number five, Erica Santos. Outside Spiker from the University of Oklahoma, number six, Savvy Davison. Center from La Salle, number nine, Kim Fajardo. Middle blocker also from La Salle, number 10, Machoy Baron. Middle blocker from the University of St. La Salle, number 13, Del Palomata. Outside Spiker from Central Philippines University, number 17, Fiona Zembalios. Starting liberal from the University of the East, number eight, team captain, Cap Arado. And the head coach for PLDT, Rald Rickafort. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is Chocomucho versus PLDT. This is the PBL, the heart of And for the second straight uh, game, uh, Neil, Mike Ortiz will start for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. While the high-speed hitters welcome back, and I put that in a quotation, uh, Del Palomata into the starting line lineup. Del Palomata has not been able, if you guys noticed, wasn't playing the first few games, wasn't able to really play with PLDT because she wasn't able to practice with PLDT, so they couldn't integrate her during the actual games, and uh, team manager Abaji Rosario was telling me that it's only been two weeks that he, she's been practicing with the team because of her commitments with uh, Air Force. And uh, that's what happened. So now we welcome her back. And she will be very important, Neil, against this Chocomucho flying team with a lot of firepower. And uh, the build-up of the games of PLDT will be uh, very crucial against Choco Mucho. Yung lahat ng pinanalo nilang game, it was a uh, three straight set. Now they're going up against the undefeated Flying Titans headed by CC Rondina. So I am looking out uh, for the middle blockers' performance right, because exactly. we know that they already have the height, they have the power, and a net defense will be their key to victory today. A big test that they had was against Petrogas. And by their standards, if you talk to them, they failed that best meal. So they want to pass this one. Chocomucho and deal Chocomucho its first defeat. Ceballos will get us going for this rally. She's actually scoring second best for PLDT so far. And that is my question, Neil, coming into this match. Where is PLDT going to get their offense? Because after Savvy Davison, as you mentioned, the number four scorer of the league, their next one is down to number 36, and that is Fiona Ceballos. Well, Erika Santos really needs to step up today. We know that uh, the focal point of the net defense and backcourt defense of Chocomucho will be against the outside hitter of PLDT in the form of uh, Savvy Davison. So somebody really has to... Uh, be that support cast dun sa main producer nila. Isabolde caught scratching the net. 
in the middles. That's why in the middles, Majoy, Dell, who marches back in here. It's going to be important for PLDT. The last time they met each other, remember this was a five setter. And in the fifth set, PLDT had a 5 0 lead that Choco Mucho dug themselves out of and still won that game 15 12. PLDT side. Savvy. Still alive. Savvy again. No, nobody touching that one. So that will be a Choco Mucho point. Perfect time for us to go to Sam Corrales. Despite all of the hype in today's matchup, Savvy Davison told me that she does not want to get intimidated by the numbers. She told me they are just focusing on something that they can control. And as we mentioned earlier, they had more than a week to prepare for today's matchup. So she prioritized recovery and is not underestimating this part about being a pro athlete. I asked her what the team wants to focus on today and Savvy told me two things, blocks and defense. She knows that CC and Cap will be in front and it will definitely be an exciting game and Savvy says she's feeling good and refreshed heading into today so let's see how their long prep will translate in today's game against the Flying Titans as you can catch us on the Filipinas live app for 149 passes a month. Back to you Bumanil. Thank you very much Sam as CC announces the first point here you know I had a nice conversation also with Savvy a couple of weeks back about the group match up and eventually now they're good friends and uh, going out together and all that and i asked her about the the cc rotina matchup he says she hasn't had the chance to really meet her and talk to her but obviously they're both praising each other for the way they play the game not just the offense cc obviously has become such a better receptionist if i can say that defender while well, savvy is in the top uh 10 of blocking also in our league by their, uh, the stars of their respective squads. You see the in-game adjustment right now, PLDP putting Savi Davison in the right pin every time CC Rondina is in the front line. That is a uh, good net defense pattern for the high speed hitters as Erika Santos gets her first point of the match. That's a girl you said. Very important for them. Erika Santos, who, averaged, who uh, has only scored 22 points in this whole tournament so far, so they need that. Savvy sends this one to the net. Erica Santos's average is at four. PLDT hoping they get more from her. Mars Alba now, who learned from Cap, who learned from Rhea. So I'm getting that chain that in Dito Neil, the mga skill set development. It's good attack from Erica. Erica Santos just keeping it simple. That wrist action was on point. We saw the intention in that attack. Got it off the hands of Cici Rondina. Del Palomata. Well, now they expect to, uh, from here on in, really play more. And they'll have a lot of court time with PLDT. Ponce, Hinated, Caimars. Chance here for Choco Mucho. Good reaction, but couldn't keep it in play. So Catalentino will score her first point. 7 6. Sorry, 7 5, rather. Biggest lead that we've had so far in this uh, first set. For PLDT, it will definitely be a confidence booster if they end up getting the win here today. Cut shot by Santos for her third point. Ganda rin ang laban ng libero natin. Kat Arado, Tan Ponce. Dami magagandang matchup. Even in the middle blocker position, ang ganda rin ang matchup. Del Palomata against Cherry Nunag. And then in the opposite hitter position, Kat Tolentino going up against Erika Santos. That can be the game plan of PLDT. Choco Motion knows na maraming sets ang mapupunta sa left pin. So, pwedeng strategy rin ni Kim Pagardo na ibigay lalo kay Erika Santos. 8-6. PLDT trying to catch up here.
Arena Plus Astig. So sports were right here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center today for our Tuesday doubleheader. A couple of net infractions already here for PLDP giving Chocomucho the lead. 8-6. Jerry Noonan will be serving. Referring also to that last game that they had against each other where CC scored 20 and Savvy scored 31. Maddie Madeog scored 18 in that game also. Let's uh, refresh everybody's memory about that as Majoy Baron is able to pull off the short slide. Also, additional options for Kim Pajardo. We're used to seeing Majoy hitting from the A quick or B quick yeah. play, but uh, again, if you want to go for that isolation type of uh, play, you go to that slide attack. Right. Miss received. Chance ball for PLDT down one. Savvy is right there. Local block was a bit late on the side of the Flying Titans. Savvy Davidson just utilizing speed in that last hit. Eight all. Sabalios getting us going for this rally. Cap from the other side, off the rebound, back to Majoy. It's too tight for Molde. Savvy asking for it, but it is Majoy who gets it. And a net touch by Isa Molde. He will shift to the high speed hitters. Uh, there have been multiple net violations. Yeah. On both sides, no? On both sides. 9-8. Elbow, shirt, hair. PLDT takes over the lead. Good block there. Back set to Cat. Arado got a hand on it. Choco Mucho. What will Cap, sorry, Mars do? And Shabby, the ninth best blocker of the league, gets her first one today. 4 0 run by PLDT. Solid timing on the side of the high-speed hitters. Good hustle there. Fiola Ciballos just diving for that ball, sacrificing her body. And uh, they will get the point. Cat and Ciballos, great effort. Good serve. CC from behind with a push. Majoy. Savvy. Back to CC. It's too low, but still alive. Game will go for it. And another chance ball. Cap, too close. Too tight. Savvy had to use her left arm, but the block was there. Catalentino, by the way, the number one blocker in the PPL right now with 13. I'll make that 14 now. Davidson has to remember that Tolentino is one of the taller blockers on the side of Choco Mucho. So if you want to go for a soft tip, you have to make sure that it goes over the hands of uh, Kat. It's good serve. Savvy asking for it again. And obviously CC and Savvy know that they're going to be targeted a lot here. And they're up for it. Here's a spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Hot start there for... Savi Davison, four points already. There's CC receiving. Cat from behind. Looks like that was going to sail out. But Santos got the hand on it. And Cat with three points for herself, too. Mars Alba has been going to that battle attack uh, multiple times already. Serving for Chocomucho, Isa Molde. Some great setters here on this. Uh, on, uh, these two teams. On the bench, Meron Pang yeah. Di Makolangan on the side of PLDT. Dina Wong and Jem Ferrer also on the side of Choco Mucho. But Savi Davison continues to power through the net defense of uh, Choco Mucho. All of these setters had at least one best setter award. Even in the UAP news, where, uh, the wealth of talent in terms of the setting. Of course, of Choco Mucho, Coach Jesse there. Specifically for the setters. Aside from net defense, it has been the serving yeah. 
of ELGB that has given them this three-point lead. Finding the right targets. So either they target Isa Molde or they target Cici Rondina. CC. That's going to bounce out. CC. Second point for CC Rodina. Mike Ortiz getting a lot of court time here in the All Filipino. That's a great pull by Del Palomata to set up Erica Santos. That's uh, something that they didn't have against the game of uh, PLDT with Petrogas. When you have a very tall middle blocker in Del Palomata, hindi pwede, hindi mo talaga siya babasayan. And uh, when you look at the play or the positioning of that play from Kim Fajardo, hinahatak niya sa right side mm. si Del Palomata. Mm. Para maliliit talaga yung middle blocker ng Choco Mucho. Calf takes a look at her attackers. It's Ceballos here getting off the rebound. Mars goes to the other side with CC waiting. That is in! And they're gonna challenge our first one of the day. Or of this game at least. Assistant coach Manolo, also very busy coaching. Very busy. PLDT and also coaching the FEU Lady Tamaraos in the UAAP. Very good uh, win over the weekend for them. Getting a lot of camera time <laughs> in both leagues. This <laughs> <laughs> looks like it scratched the line. Oh, oh, very good challenge by PLDT. Successful challenge for Coach Raldrika Ford. There is a counter challenge on the side of the Flying Titans. Block this touch. time it's going to be a block touch challenge. Allowed to do, of course. Why not? Chokomucha at 4 and 0. Oh. PLTT at 3 and 1. And as Neil pointed out earlier, they have uh, beaten. Some of the lower ranked teams already here in the league, and the schedule is going to get tougher now for PLDT. While the Flying Titans, impressive wins against Signal, Jerry Tigo, Petrogas, and Nexled. Worth the challenge, din naman, dahil lanjan yun del palumata na always possible. So, after all of that, PLDT gets the point, and Savvy will continue to serve. Javi goes long. Oof. She wanted to target that end line. They still have a three-point lead against the Flying Titans. She's so... She hates herself for it. She's still thinking about that. Santos! Oh, ang ganda ng tiklop ng katawan niya to, Neil. High efficiency attacking from Erika Santos. 16-12 BLDT with its biggest lead.
Good news mga kapatid, mapapanood na rin tayo ngayon sa pinakabagong free-to-air channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTT Channel 9, hindi na sa higit, 300 cable at satellite providers nationwide at sa signal play. Erika Santos, 5 points, already over her average deal and 5 out of 5 today. You have to credit the ball distribution of Kim Fajardo. No doubt. She has been uh, at the uh, forefront of the setting of PLDT in the past few games. Here comes Kat from the right side. Another chance ball for Choco Mucho. Mars will go to the middle. Uh, also joining the scoring picture for the Flying Titans. Dami na nating nakita ng uh, um, sets papunta sa wings ng Choco Mucho. Now is the time to get your middle of the ball. Kasi yun yung ginagawa ng PLD. Yeah. They're really splitting the blockers of the Flying Titans. Oh! Good dive there by Tang. The push. Kim. Savvy from behind. Received very well by Ponce. Same here for Kaf. Sabi niya, easy lang. Long rally again. CC from the back. Dug by Kaf. Erika again, six for six. Erika Santos just woke up on the right side of the bed today. Really helping Savi Davidson in uh, attacking. A dig by Kaf Arado. Hitting the right hand of Isa Molde. Molde. Denied! Specialty of the house from Majoy Baron. Kill block against Isa Molde. And the biggest lead, Neil, for PLDT at five. Joko Mucha calls for time. Well, unfortunately, we were not able to eavesdrop the timeout of Coach Dante Alunsuduru. But the game plan, and this is what one we can do also, Neil, you know, where you can come up with schemes, you can scout, you can... And they're executing it very well. Talking about PLDT with a five-point lead. They came prepared. I mean, obviously, looking at the past few um, rallies, iba talaga yung ginagalaw ng PLDT. And again, they have been serving hard in the first set as they continue to force Choco Mucho to commit these unforced errors. This is now a six-point lead for the high-speed hitters. Another 3-0 run to add on to this lead. 19-13. Munag is checked. Alba will send it over to Tolentino. Squeezes it through the block. Four points for Cap. Tolentino, the seventh best scorer in the league. Now, Mars Alba will have uh, three attackers in the front line for the Flying Titans. That's old school. <laughs> That's yeah. old school. Fajardo. So it coming in Fajardo. Um, opting to go for that top ball. So Mike Ortiz will move out for Maddie Madeag, the captain. And the girl who scored 18 points in the last time they saw each other. Down six. Cat finding a spot. Not the strongest of attacks, but just perfect placement. Just 
high and long for Catalentino. Now a double substitution will be made for Coach Dante Alinsunur and Lina Wong. And the former high-speed hitter, Royce Tobino. Tobino. Easy point for PLDT here. This is exactly the start that PLDT wanted. Remember, still without Jovi Prado, without Mika Reyes, without Keanu D. I can't wait to see KK yeah. <laughs> as, a, as an official high speed hitter. Then at Lala Runa. Roy Tumino will get a break point for the Flying Titans. Every time you go to these double substitutions, it's very important to get that one stop because uh, with a snap of a finger, kaya ng magpalit no momentum. Let's see if the cushion of PLDT was enough. Six was the biggest. Dell. CC. Off the rebound. Savvy. Denied! That was uh, Royce Tubino with her second point. Impact. Against her former team. Pinabawe. Counter attack. That is long for Royce. Those are the names. And uh, KKD talked about earlier. I'm sure they're excited to be back on the floor. Mika, Mika, long way. Still a long way to go. Kiana is closer. Erica, not that time. Good reaction by Santos. Savvy pushes away Kat. Could not get off for takeoff. Speaking of takeoff. Chance here for PLDT. The push doesn't work. Savvy on the open. And Maddie was there. Royce was there. Choco with a little momentum here. That has been the difference uh, in the first part of set number one. Nakita natin mas nakiklik yung uh, frontline defense ng PLDT compared to Choco Mucho. But uh, now we have uh, Maddie Madayag. Guarding that net. They have had a couple of uh, defensive stops already. All right. Santos on the other side. Change of pace. Xavi, right pin. Cross court. Six points for her. Six points for Santos. And she goes back to serve. Get the palita at the front line, Xavi Davidson and Erica Santos. And we were wondering, Dibadil, the start of the, where will they get points outside of Xavi? We're getting it now, the answer now. Oh, ho, ho! Great up. set up there from Dina Wong to Cherry Nunag. Sobrang simple nung play, but the, they always get the job done. The job done, rather. At nakalihis na yung katawan ni Cherry, you know? Lead us down to four. Highest at six. Ceballos on the other side. Check out. Now, uh, the U.S. high speed hitter will come in for Del Palomata for the serve. Sheila yep. Quiseo in. The serve and the sweep. Alongside Savvy. Set point, five of them. For the high speed hitters. Safe serve. Cherry again. Kim will back set to Erica. But CC stays in the air for an extra second to push it back. Point number three for CC Rondina. 
That's it for the double sum. Coach Dante Mars Alpha and Captain Lindino will come back in. That is a tall front line. And ideally, every time you have three attackers in the front line, dun ka dapat tumatagal because uh, you will have so many options. I like this timeout by Coach uh, Raul. Trying to make sure of a point here. What did you get from that timeout, Neil? Yeah, to the point. I mean, uh, more than a week of preparation, lahat ng variation of the rotations and tendencies of Choco Mucho, siguro na insayo na nila. It's now about uh, execution for the side of PLDT. They have uh, four set points. They don't need to get pressured right now. Yeah. And they have Erika Santos in the front line for emergency. Meron ka pang Sammy Davison for that pipe attack. See if that timeout also iced CC Rondina, who was ready to serve already when the timeout was called. Could serve. Santos. There we go. Simple. But a one set cushion for the PLDD high speed hitters. They were led by Erica Santos's seven points, Neil. That's a pleasant change in the top scorer position for the high speed hitters. We were really expecting Saivri Davison to pop off. It's a Filipinas live question. But it has been Erica Santos doing the damage on the side of PLDT. The good thing, Savvy Davison still consistent with six points for herself with a block two. And more importantly, her team draws first blood. Exciting action here from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center for the second game of our Tuesday doubleheader live on One Sports on the Pinapinas Live app. And of course, for those watching on RPTV, we say good evening to you while PLDT starting off strong and 
having enough cushion to fend off a late surge by Choco Mucho in that first set. Aside from uh, the unforced errors given by PLDT, they were very successful in the serving uh, department. We saw a couple of shank passes on the side of Choco Mucho. They were still able to set up that second ball, but mas madale for the defenders of PLDT to get rebounds. That One ace from PLDT, pero yung, yung karga, no? which resulted in a lot of break balls or out of system for Choco Mucho or even free balls returned. Brand new set. So let's see what's going to happen here in set number two. Off to a good start with Manjoy Baron and her second block of the game. If you're a middle blocker, you really have to commit to the chase because sometimes na feel ng middle blockers na masyado ng malayo. But if you put in that extra effort mm. or lateral movement, yeah. makakuha ka talaga ng rebound. That's another point. Kim Pardo, we, we, we know she, she's capable of doing stuff like that. <laughs> we saw that one-two play a while ago, but now she goes for a spike and uh, again that was a shank pass from yeah. uh, the flying titans and from a good serve again i know well speaking of they're uh, locked in on their specific targets yolo Ceballos continuously targeting isamolde on that first pass loaded serves making life a bit easier so far for PLDT, CC gets that one. Airborne, but denied by Majoy. CC Rodina putting all the power that she has, but that was a high set, a broken play with the long arms of uh, Joy Madro, jo, Majoy Baron rather waiting in the right pin. Of course, the higher the set, gives more time for the blockers to position themselves. Cherry gets their first point after a 4-0 start. At this point, Choco Mocho really needs to improve on their passing so that uh, Mark Alba can create space for the wing spikers. Ceballos misreceives that one. Nagawang panamparaan ni Arado. General comes in to dig. Ooh, nobody there. Kat Valentino will score her sixth point as we send it over to Sam Morales. CC Rondina has been on fire for the Chocomucha Flying Titans all-conference long. And she told me earlier, as long as she can, she is willing to give it her all. Now with a winning streak to guard, CC said her goal now is the consistency of her performance and maintaining the effort. I asked her about where she gets her per confidence and she told me it's all from Coach Dante. Sobrang kalmado niya and alam niya kung ano talaga ang dapat gawin. Now every Chocomucha player that I spoke to said it's about his system. But on CC's end, she's still overloading on her sleeves trying to be more vocal on the court, lalong-lalo na pag-crucial ang point. Kailangan daw talaga nila gawa ng paraan, lalo na if may misreceive. So they have to have a better pass or distribute the ball better. This report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Catch it now for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Bumanil. Thank you very much, Sam. You know, there's no coach at CC Rondino who's handled CC Rondino who's not said good things about her and how she follows the system and how coachable she is. Whether it's Kung Fu or Dante or you kahit yung mga coaches niya sa beach volleyball. But Choco Mucha right now is having a tough time just passing that ball. That was also a set from Marcel, but high for a big, big quick play. 
And a while ago, I noticed that yung blocking pattern ng Choco Mucho, dalawa yung nagbabantay kay Majoy Baron. But when you have Savi Davison in the front mm. line, of course, you have to compare the number of sets given by Kim Pajardo. Mas marami na pupunta kay Savi Davison. For sure. So they can double up on the right pin and uh, pwedeng isa na lang yung magbantay sa gitna. Again, one-on-one -on -one is a bad proposition, especially with Savi already angles her body like that. Cross-court attack, 7-2, Dina Wong comes in for Mars Alba. Uh, chats with Coach Ejit Obaya there at the bench. Molde. Mm. All up on the second ball on the side of the high speed hitters. They will uh, put a stop to the run of PLDT, but that is a ball they hit. Not serving. Chavi gets it back. That's out though. Over adjustment on Davison's part. He acknowledges that error, but she's human after all. Even if she doesn't move, move like one, <laughs> <laughs> move or fly like one. And she's such a delight to talk to, also. Oh, vintage Fajardo. <laughs> Three different variations on that top ball. <laughs> Excellent point. Here's a move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. Nobody home for Choco Mucho. 8-4 for PLDT. Arena Plus, a stinks of sports. The last time they saw each other, that first meeting of Xavi and CC. Bialdini was actually ahead also in uh, that two sets to one. And then, of course, as I said earlier, in the fifth set, they were down 0-5. Serving for the high Trying to remember if that was here in San Juan also. Let me try to check and no, it was at the Phil Sports uh, Arena. Block point. Savvy Davison, like I said, top ten in blocking, number nine, and then number four in scoring. Yeah, he is just reading the set plays uh, so well. Mm. Here in the second set, they're continuing uh, the performance that they had in set number one. CC receiving. Molde with the attack. That's a quicker one, a faster one. Maybe some Molde. Needed that uh, point to get her confidence back. She was the target on the service line. Now she will get that the one uh, through the double block of the high speed hitters. Dell with a little tip. Isa will try again, this time, fooling the blockers, two straight points, five all in all for Isa Molde. Going above the hands of the double block. And she waited for Del Palomata na bumaba bago niya itawid yung bola. 
Caballos, faulty on the receive. Savvy has to be creative. Ooh. What an angle. <laughs> they said it was far from the net, but she was still able to hit that sharp cross-court angle. That's just pure athleticism on the side of uh, Savvy Davison. Ten points for her already, leading everybody today. Back to CC, who continues to receive well. Santos, Fajardo, ooh! Ceballos underneath the ball. There oh, was a check. Check ball. It's a block touch. So officially, the point will go. Maddie Ooh, says LDP. no. Maddie says there was none, so Coach Dante will challenge. And by the way, Maddie leads with two green cards here in the PBL. <laughs> I was told prior to the game that she is in the lead in terms of uh, our green card count with two. But this time she said to Coach Dante she didn't think she touched it. So let's see. We'll find out. Big point here. They're also trailing by four points, exactly. so they really need to get this one. Bang, voila. It looks like a successful challenge. Yeah. Well, no block touch there. Point will officially go to uh, the Flying Titans. Right. Good call by Maddie. Challenge by So Maddie being truthful. <laughs> Still, <laughs> seven serving ten. <laughs> Del Palomata <laughs> with her first point. Trying to work herself back in condition here in the All Filipino Conference. She's just getting good rebounds. Uh, it's a first touch for the PLDT, but now is the time to also get her involved in attacking. Ooh, that's dropping in! That really looked like it was going to sail outside, but last second, biglang bumaba dun sa corner pocket ng Choco Mucho. Could I do anything about it? They thought that he was going outside. Right in front of Dante Alinsunurin, actually. Right, right there. <laughs> Look at that drop. Right on the line. Pass again, Neil. Very faulty here. Fajardo will bump it. And a scratch by Manny on the net. And this again is another six-point lead. The biggest of the second set. The focus is so different on the side of PLDT. Yeah. Everybody's um, really locked in. Uh, and in all aspects of the game, they're trying their best to bring their A game. That's so spot on, Neil. You're right. That one's out. You know, the word intentional comes into mind. But they have this intention. They have the game plan. And they're sticking to it right now. They're also well rested. That's for sure. And well prepared and well rested. And by the way, this is the biggest lead of the match in either set. It's now at seven. Maddie! Maddie! Halong galit yun, Neil. Halong gigil at galit. That's what happens when you give a perfect pass to Dina Wong or Mars Alba. They give her a spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Maddie goes to serve. That's not helping their cause. Choco Mucho needs to minimize their errors. Even in set number one, they gave out more errors compared to the high speed hitters. And uh, sometimes they kita natin yung mga teams kahit mas marami kang naibibigay na unforced errors. Kailangan leading ka sa attacking category. But PLDT also led in uh, that stat line, 15 right. to 11. Oh, Cepalio's a bit slow on the forward move. She had it. Oh, by the way, third service error also. Chocomucha earlier. 
So we'll keep a count on that. Parang nag-hesitate si... The decision by Savvy, fourth service error for Chomobucho. So the lead is back to seven, second technical timeout. Back inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Yola Sibaldas will get us going. A seven point lead. That's what PLDT is sitting on right now. Erica from behind. Reverse. That's too close to the net. Nahila si Gibbar, the Diana was a lala for Gibbola. But they still have a easy point. <laughs> As for Choco Mucho, they need to work hard. But the thing to conversion, nila, again, they only had 22% attack yeah. efficiency in set number one. Bajoy! What a setting by Cap today. But on, uh, it looked like it was going to go out, but uh, the end of was also there for the dig. Yep. Back to seven. Good serve again, Neil. And that was against uh, one of the best liberos that we have in the league. With that Ponce actually are reigning best libero, right? Just by looking at PLDT, you know that there are areas of the game that are really good by Coach Ral during training. A one-week training. By the way, this is the biggest lead now at eight. You need to solve it because our main problem is to pass. Let's go. Let's pass. We have to do it when we're out of system. It's important to know what you're going to do, right? Okay, okay, okay. One good receive. Okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. Awesome live sports viewing guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. And Coach Dante just echoing what uh, Neil was talking about, or has been talking about. It's pasa, pasa, pasa. Meron tayo plano pagka out of system tayo. Yun ang sinasabi ni Coach Dante. Against other teams, yung out of system plays ng uh, Choco Mucho, nakaka-convert sila, but against the net defense of PLDT, hindi ganun kataas yung success rate nila. And uh, PLDT doesn't mind kahit na hindi sila makakuha ng kill block as long as they get these good rebounds. Of course. It's very easy for them to run their counter-attacks. And uh, the woes of Choco Mucho in the reception area continue to roll here in set number two as he says, now Balu in the 2 nine-point lead. And Tang Ponce again, having trouble today. So, Bia General is back. Majoy goes to CC this time. Better first ball there. The dive by Kim and another net infraction. A 10-point deficit for the number, well, I was going to say number one team, but they're not by points. They're not number one, but the only undefeated team in the lead. Matoy has been serving well. 
Savvy will just roll it over. Tina, back to CC. Sibalio, solid. Good reaction by both teams. Chance to set here. They'll send it to the other side to Savvy. Davison, smart Davison. off the hands of the blockers of Coco Mucho. So smart. It was a really high ball, <laughs> but she timed it so well. 11 points for her. 11 points is the lead. Fardo goes for the one two. Fardo again. Molde explodes for that one. Great reaction by Ceballos. Chance ball. Dig pass. Two players diving but hesitating. Lisa Molde will score her sixth point. Wasn't the best of passes, but the takes a free ball. Good thing that Lisa Molde was able to convert from the left pin. Yeah, Dina had to be creative on that set. So many errors on uh, the side of the Flying Titans. But it's the fifth service error of Choco Mucho. Staring at an 11 point deficit. Overpass again. things out. There are uh, different possible adjustments that can be made on the side of Choco Mucho. The best receiver right now, I would say, would be CC Rondino yeah. so she can get a bigger zone. Pwede silang maghati ni General so that Isa Molde can just focus on uh, attacking. That's a perfect pass. First pass, second pass. And Manny Matayag spanks that ball into the gallery. Rondina with a perfect reception. Transition to that Dina Wong set to uh, Maddie. Serving for the Flying Titans, Captain Tino. Biggest lead was 12. Right now, it's at 11. Chibalios. Oh, ho, ho, the answer from Erika Santos. Sending that baby home for set point. Again, uh, Del Palomata got the commitment of Madi. She was uh, just too late to support the, the block. She likes it too. <laughs> you would too. So they have 12 set points here. They're probably going to get this set, Neil. Now the question looms, can they finish off the job? Because that is always the question. Past seasons, yung nga yung problema, yung killer instinct. But now, with the addition of uh, the likes of Kim Fajardo and Pajoy Baron, we might just see a different uh, ELDT in the third set. Or at least that's what they're hoping. They are on fire. Everything they touch right now has turned into gold. And in the middle of that offensive onslaught is Kim Fajardo with some trickery, some magic, and some four points also for her. And PLDT, two sets to love lead.
Well, if you just joined us and you're looking at the scoreboard, well, we are as surprised as you are too. The, the team that is at 4-0 is down two sets, but that's not the big news. The big news is how they're they're down, Neil, and how they've been playing. It's not that they are down because, you know, any team can be down a set or two sets, but the way they've been playing, especially in that second set where everything just faltered for them. The good news is, of course, no volleyball game is won after two sets. So all the Chocomucho fans are praying that they recover. But so far, let's uh, shout out the PLDT high-speed hitters and tell, tell everybody, Neil, what are they doing well? Well, they have been uh, serving <laughs> really well. That's the main strategy of Coach Ralph for right now to keep on uh, challenging the receivers of the Flying Titans. Uh, this time, Chocomucho was able to increase their efficiency in uh, their attacking from 22%. Uh, they hold a 30% attack efficiency in that second frame but uh, wala na yung locks na nakuha nila in set number one they registered four in set number one but right now PLDT controlled the blocking department and uh, the serving department and uh, to add to that meron pang nine free points coming from uh, the purple shirts I was uh, watching the Chocomucho huddle after the original huddle with coach Dante Linsunurin and they all huddled up everybody on the circle and Maddie Madeag was talking to everyone emphatically. So little pre third set message from the captain. So let's see if they wake up here. In the meantime, if you're PLDT, as they say, job's not done. Still some work to do. A lot actually. But this is an important set for PLDT. And, uh, PLDT needs to bring out that killer instinct here in the set number three because we know Chocomucho, we know their comeback capabilities. Yep. Nagawa na nila yan before, even if they're down uh, two sets. Yep. Basta mag-click yung offense nila and mag-click yung reception nila. Uh, that can uh, mean trouble for the high-speed hitters. Yeah, Neil, they're such an ignitable team. Just like, I, I guess you could say that, uh, like their sister team. And once they get something going, sometimes with a double sub or a complete change of the lineup, they, they find something, they're also tough to stop. So PLDT, I'm sure, Neil, is aware of that. Coach, da, uh, Coach uh, Rick Afford is aware of all of that. And a good start for them right now at 1-0. CC. They got to get her going, for sure. Only five points. A girl was averaging almost 22 in this All-Filipino. Kanina, but they said talaga si CC Romina. She kept on trying to break the defense of PLDT. Pero nakakonvert agad yung high-speed hitters. Savvy will try to answer, and she does. And that's very important if you're PLDT because you're coming off an explosive CC that pag magdalawa or tatlong sunod yan, alam mo, de delikado. So that answer by Savvy Davison was very important for PLDT. She's like the equalizer to the CC good point. Yeah. of Chocomucho. Heavy serve coming from Majoy Baron, but good. that was a perfect receive. Yeah. Or Stupino was the one who received that one. Lunag will score her fourth point. Let's check in with Sam Perales now. You guys said that Kim Fajardo is thriving in her new home. And like what I mentioned during the pregame, the healthy competition with Rhea de Makulangan is definitely bringing out her game. Rhea said, Saluhan lang talaga kasi kahit sino ang ilagay sa loob, they believe they can perform. Rhea only had good words to say about Kaf because she was able to adapt to the new system quickly. And what's interesting is after every game, kahit isa pa lang ang talo ng PLD, Nagkakamustahan silang dalawa to see what more they can improve on. And during the game, isang tingin lang daw and she is ready to lend a helping hand. Catch this on Filipinas Live for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Buma Neil. But Neil, I want to ask you a question. As a player, how helpful is it to have another vet in the same position? Go ahead. Uh, it will just give you all the confidence that you need. Hindi ka kakabahan because every time out, kakausapin ka nung player na nasa same position mo. And uh, when you are struggling, alam mong may papalit sa'yo to carry that load. So it is a luxury 
for the high-speed hitters, Tabria de Makulangan yeah. uh, in the bench. And in the case of these two, it's a bit even more special because they have history. Diba? Meron yung, meron kang vet, pero wala kang history with that vet. Meron ganda pa rin na influensya sa'yo. Ito, meron kang relationship, meron kang history, so it's even better for them. As you saw, as everybody saw in what Sam introduced earlier sa ating pregame, yung heart-to-heart -heart feature. Better start here for Choco Mucho, playing with some sense of urgency. Five points for Nunak. Mas steady na sila on the pass, and uh, when they get a perfect reception, automatic Mars Alba will go to that uh, epic play. And it has been so effective. 13 points for Savi Davis on, on the side of PLDT. Seven for Capulino. Now they get a kill block against Erika Santos as they take over the lead here in set number three. She's been so successful swinging hard. She might want to go back to that. Choco Mucho taking over. Waking up and getting some cheap points. The crowd can also be a factor. Yes. Might not notice it, but uh, when uh, Choco Mucho comes alive, the Everything crowd comes changes. alive, yeah. They can play bad in a certain set, then uh, play the best set that they've played in the following set. That one's out. No touch. Yeah, I, I, I love that point you made, Neil. That's part of the pressure, the crowd pressure. How does PLDT deal with that pressure? When the crowd is trying to will their favorite team back into this match. Tobino receives. Cap from the other side. Rebound. Palomata! What a power tip from Del Palomata. Great recognition also on the side of Kim Fajardo. Wow. Sa sobrang takad ni Del, kahit hindi na siya umapproach, she can just utilize that vertical jump. Back to Royce, back to Cherry, back to PLDT with Ceballos, rejected. Chance to counter here. Cat didn't like it. PLDT now. Eric on the other side. Palik kay Santos. Santos goes long. Alba with a solid dig. CC. Erica again. Long rally alert. Oh! <laughs> A sensational touch <laughs> by Savvy Davidson. What a point for PLDT. They showed uh, everybody that they also have that hustle. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, depends. Uh... Seven serving six. PLDT staying strong. Amidst this flurry from Giacomucho. With another chance to counter. Santos again. Sent back. Joust. It's won by PLDT. 8-6. Technical timeout. Third set. Plus, a stinks of sports.
It is a 4-0 run. Counter run by PLDP from two down to two up. Sometimes mas nakaka-deflate ng confidence yung mga sim simpleng bola na namamatay on your end. Uh, like what we witnessed earlier. So Choco Mocho needs to recover in this uh, next rally. Perfect pass. And Cap Tolentino apologizes to Savvy. Savvy accepts the apology. I'm sure Savvy has had her share of those things too. Here it comes from the opposite. Headshot. Cap Tolentino is the leading scorer for Choco Mucho. Eight points for her on seven attacks. That crawls out. Eight all. What a crowd here today at the arena. Del Palomata slowly working her way back. Five points. Leading scorers, Jane Sutton with 14, followed by Erika Santos with 8. That's a spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. This is very surprising for Choco Mucho. Wala pang player in double digits. None. They were able to contain CC Rondina. Yeah. Only seven points so far. <laughs> She's the wild card here for Choco Mucho. See if she can get herself going here alongside Royce Tubino, who knows PLDT very well. Savvy receiving. Great first ball. Sent back. Cat will send it over to Santos. Good reaction by Tolentino. Tobino from the other side. Calf will go to Savvy from behind. What a slide by Ponce. CC with the counter. And it's out. <laughs> what an exchange. See Savvy Davison uh, attacking from the pipe. That's what we We already mentioned that this will definitely be a showdown between the outside hitters of our competing teams. Who are also receiving very well for their teams, by the way. Ceballos rolls it over. Alba, back to Maddy. Up to the open spot. Tip for Tat here. Third set, way tighter now. Yeah, really asked for that set from Mars Alba. Pass to the of Davison and Arado. Savvy this time. Under duress, but PLDT saves that ball. Alba, CC! Mucho back in the driver's seat. After that, uh, Rondina hit. Look at where she is flying from. That's out. Six service errors for Choco Mucho. Some error there. <laughs> They're trying to reestablish their momentum in low here in set number three. And yung mga service errors yung talaga yung nakakapigil sa Choco Mucho. But the high speed hitters. Uh, drops, it drops on her. Again, the defensive stop against Tirokina. The ball was on its way out. <laughs> Pero, Tumahama ulit kay CC. Pinry niya namang iwasan. <laughs> the ball was just too fast. Kaya mundin siya kalakas kasi pumalo. Neil eh, ang bilis ng balik eh. Sinuklian! Some adrenaline here. Stakes are high. Stakes are high, pressure is high. Sabalos. Savvy's back in the front line. 
And she continues to spank that ball for her 15th point. Only player in double digits on the side of the high speed hitters. But there's more distribution from them, I don't know. And uh, must efficient yung conversion from the middle ng PLDT compared yeah. to the And uh, Davison uh, will get a monster block against Lunak for point number 16. And third block of the game. Not bad for somebody who was all trying it out last conference here in the Philippines. She fell in love with not only the team, but volleyball in the Philippines. So she's Stay here long term. Blocking again! And PLDD with its biggest lead here in the third set. Alba didn't have uh, much of a choice but to set that to the left pin. And again, nagaantay na lang yung blockers ng PLDT. So the coverage also needs to be present dun sa backcourt ng Chocomucho. Tong tuwa si Kaf dun sa block niya, partner. <laughs> Davidson. Oh! And even that works! 16-12, PLDD up by four. Arena Plus has dig sus sports. Um, Neil PLDT has had two 4 0 runs here in uh, the game. We're coming off another one for them to re establish this four point lead. They're just uh, showing everybody that preparation is key. Nasi, yeah. nasi yung timing ni Manjo. I actually saw some of the coaches of the Bull Smasher here the scouting area, so even the other teams are scouting this game. No doubt. If they're not scouting the game live, they're definitely watching on our different viewing platforms. Ponce. Palomata. I would say that this is a comfortable lead for PLDT. You're almost at the 20-point mark. You have uh, Erica Santos and Savi Davison in the front row. So how about that rotation? Can to might as well target the 20-point mark? I don't know, Neil. I never want to use the word safe or comfortable <laughs> when volleyball. Maybe when they're around 23. <laughs> but right now they are the momentum definitely on their side here. 5-1 run. Coach Dante, of course, always very positive. You know, one of the things that they love 
meaning the players who Choco Mucho love about him is his approach, his demeanor, the way he talks to them, the way he approaches them. And he's always calm. He's seen a lot of wars uh, here and internationally, Neil. So he's had a lot of experience. And the, the girls really respond to him. But right now, it's really PLDT who's having a very sharp and, as you mentioned, focused game plan. Another chance for PLDT to score in transition. Savvy sending it over easily. Oh, what a reaction by Ponce! Chance for PLDT here. Alba with the easy dig for her. That's out on the long exchange. Glory defense holding up for Choco Mucho. Ganda din nung numbers ni Tang Ponce and Kat Arado in this match. Mars Alba also getting a couple of digs in that last rally. Four-point lead. Over received. Two straight points. Three points is uh, manageable for the Flying Titans. Inagani Arado. Three straight points. Slowly but surely, Chocomocho making their comeback here in set number three. Yeah, sabi kse, yung comfortable at saka safe na word. <laughs> and only the second timeout called by Coach Raud here. Si Mero naman eh. Okay, okay. Sige, sige. Si Mero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. She see with some heavy serves. Two point lead. Five was the biggest in this set. Thirteen was the biggest in the match. That was in the second set. CC continued to serve and continues to go to Arado. Davison. Santos. 4-0 run. That is uh, their own version of a 4-0 run. We saw a lot of runs from the side of PLDT. And uh, now Choco Mucho with his striking distance. It's just a one-point ball game. Actually, Neil, that is the first 4-0 run by Choco Mucho in this match. Again, the reaction by Ponce. They will not allow that. A run stopper there. To maintain a two-point lead. So CC in the back row, Davison in the back row. 19-17. The pressure is definitely on. Cat. What a dig! What a reaction by Fardo. Cat again. Arado. Great dig by Ponce. CC with the approach. Arado. Davison didn't like it. Tips it over. Alba back to Cat. <laughs> Tang Ponce. Uh, not giving the floor to the high speed hitters. But we also have to commend the, the floor defense of Kim Pardo. She's been making like a libero in the backcourt. 10 points for Cat Tolentino, the first Chocomucho player. How about this? Coach Tante using a couple of former PLDT players now. Lois <laughs> Tobino, Man Mendres. The lead is won. Some uh, gamemanship coming from Coach Tante. That's out. I think Man took too much time to serve. Cece was telling her to serve already. 
And na-distract yata si Mayan na palakas. I think Mayan Mendres forgot that we have a physical clock yeah. already. Crucial error there. That was crucial. Of, uh, yeah. Choco Mucho. That was big. That was big. 2018. Yan ang, yan ang din nagagawa ng atmosphere, ng crowd, ng pressure. The count starts from the whistle. And you have eight seconds to serve. Cap. Denied. Cap will try again. A chance to counter here. For PLDT, long ball. Alba will go back to Tolentino, and Tolentino continues to produce. He, their best option right now. Right now. 11 points. Yeah, 11 points. The only player in uh, double digits for Toko Mucho. BLDT trying to survive, Neil. This rotation with Savvy still behind and clinging on to a one point lead. Long ball by Ceballos. Gets one point back. Point number four for Viola Ceballos. Again, compared to Savi Davison and Erika Santos, pinaka konte yung opportunities ni Viola Ceballos. But here in the crucial stretch of set number three, Kim Pajardo wanted to change things up. She went for Viola Ceballos and they got their 21st point. But they're keeping a window open here for Choco Mucho to come back. Isa Bolde is back. They playing for side out. Etong PLDT to get savvy in front field. Savvy takes it. That's out. We're all tied up. Baron saw that open space. That was just too strong. Timeout. Coach Rao, his second. Trying to keep everyone on point perspective, not to think of the finish, but to think of this point. They had a five-point lead, Neil. It has disappeared. And uh, kailangan nila makaalis sa rotation nila na to para makuha nila si Savi Davison sa harapan. They can go for a five attack, but it will really depend on the blocking pattern set up by the Flying Titans. Who will respond to the pressure? Sepalios again. No touch. They're going to challenge. PLDT will. Catolentino says, no, I didn't touch it. They are going to challenge this one. A block touch challenge. But if this is unsuccessful, Choco Mucho will come back and take the lead. Funny, no? Ano, Neil, in a situation like this, parang your two sets to love lead doesn't matter. No? It doesn't <laughs> give you any kind of parang mental cushion because of the opponent. The past few sequences, parang mas pressured pa yung uh, PLDT. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. There was a block touch. It wasn't Cat. It was Mars. The... Right, <laughs> of uh, Mars Alba. And she Kaf. tried to get away with and it. Calf and the Calf and Mars had a few things to say each other at the net. So PLDT surviving still with a one-point lead, hanging on 22-21. Sammy Davison is in the front row, but uh, Cici Rondina needs to turn on that MVP mode of hers now if she wants to extend uh, this match to a fourth set. 
on cue. And you know her, she's gonna go down swinging. She knows also, she knows the importance now of this, uh, this moment. And, and CC is pointing to Savvy, telling her teammates, Bantayan na yan. Loaded serve. Majoy will go to Savvy. Savvy will be creative on this one. CC will get the ball back. Set back. CC again. And Choco Mocha takes over the lead. That was the right set. At this point, yep. the game will only be guy KC Rodina. Let her score. Let her attack. Yes. Just support her from the back court. You live and die with your MVP already, as they say. What a climb back by Chocomucho here in the third. Savvy gets the point back. 18 for her. 23 all. Wild finish to the third set. And a Del Palomata will be sent in for obvious reasons here, Neil. For sure, two blockers will already guard Cici Rondina. Mars, back to CC. Adjusts in mid-air. Set point, Choco Mucho. Cici Rondina not holding back on power. She went above the hands of Del Palomata and si Del Ney pinakamatangkat on the floor. So, nakikita mo talaga yung elevation ng isang CC Rondina. Savvy. Chance to attack here. Rondina. Arado. Davidson. Oh. It's too low. We owe to set number four. Savvy Davidson has been uh, the brightest star for the high speed hitters, but that last error just uh, cost them the set. And now we'll be going to a fourth. Cap Tolentino leading them with 11, Rodina catching up with 11, and Choco Mucho ends the set with a 12 5 run. inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. I told you, Neil, cannot be comfortable. <laughs> cannot be safe. I take that back. Ang hirap sa volleyball maging comfortable talaga. Kina save ang 4.8. Hindi talaga. 5 actually. I will not say that again. 5 actually ang pinakamalaking abante. But yes, uh, Chocomucho with a 12 to 5 finishing kick in that third set. Okay. What changed 
And how did the PLDT lose that lead and how did Choco Mucho come alive here? Well, ang tagal nila dun sa rotation nung dalawa lang yung attackers. Fiona Sibaldis was, was in the front line alongside Majoy Baron. And they needed more offensive options, mm. but it didn't get that. So Choco Mucho just pounced on that opportunity to feed the balls to CC Rondina. This time around, they were able to produce more attack points compared to the high-speed hitters. And in terms of percentage of conversion rate, then mas mataas na 32% compared to the 27% of uh, PLDT. That was such a close mm. set in terms of number of attempts naman sa atake. Choco Mucho had 44, PLDT had 45. And uh, this was, this has been the thorn on the side of PLDT. They're a team na laging malapit ng manalo, but somewhere along the road, something happens, and uh, they end up stretching the match even more. Even in the past few conferences, they almost entered the final four. Isang panalo lang yung uh, kailangan nila. So they have to dig down deep in this set and reassert their performance, their stellar performance in the first two frames. And uh, you have awakened the beast in Mati Madayagi in set number three. And, and she, she's really a game changer, but at the end of it all, Choco Mucho gets confidence when she sees there in yeah. the front line. And, you know, like we said earlier, they knew it. And a rotational infraction here. So not the start that PLDT wants. So now these things play into your head, yeah. Neil. And maybe, maybe that last match also starts creeping in. Because Choco Mucho also came back there. That's where they need some leadership. The fake. CC fires. 3-0 Choco Mucho. Rodina will overtake the production of Catalina. She has uh, 12 points now, backed up by the 11 of Kat. You can't keep a good scorer down. And uh, Choco Mucho works best. Pag nakukuha ni CC Rondina yung mga touches nila. And uh, they continue to roll. This time on the service line, care of Isabelle. And this is now a 4 to 0 run for the Flying Titans as Coach Rodrigo Ford calls for time. Let's go to Sam Corrales right now, Sam. Well, Choco Mucho showed signs of life in that last set, and Catalina told me that it's because of the chemistry that they have. And it's simply improved because of the reps that they have been putting in together. Now, Kat also told me that she is able to adapt to Coach Dante's system, which, according to her, involves a lot of blocking. But now it will all boil down to having discipline because Kat says her mindset is all about understanding that it is a process. Now, here at courtside, I'm seeing a lot of initiative from the players with Mars Alba and Tang Ponce communicating with those on the floor right now about the things they did right in the previous set. Now, let's see if the Flying Titans can continue their winning right here in this match, which you can catch on Filipinas Live for 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Bumanil. I did say Maddie Madeag also took over that, that preset, uh, uh, no, no, the changeover, and uh, made sure that she had a real good chat with her team. And I'm sure that made a difference. That's the captain for you. That's what we want to see here. So PLDT, who will take that role? That's not over. But they're going to challenge that for sure. And we did say, Neil, about Choco Mucho is the type of team that ignitable talaga sila. Yeah. They get two, three points going. And especially if they're impact points from a CC Rondina, that's, that's really parang lights a fire in them. That's the crowd factor. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's noisy. Yeah. In that uh, end of set number three, that's additional motivation for the purple shirts. While it's additional pressure, pressure. <laughs> on the other side. So 
right now, Kim Fahard is just trying her best to calm everyone down. They're still up two sets to one. So the challenge here is block touch. CC with the low hit, but whether it crawled and whether it touched a PLDT player, we have yet to find out. Two sets to one. Chokumutra is 4-0. Bob PLDT looking for a signature win, looking for a win that will, I'm sure, give them confidence also, Neil, that we can battle with the best of them here. If you're computing for wins, actually, it's always the target of the teams to get some from the higher rank. Yes, yes. Kumbaga, when you are up against the lower seeded teams, then yung mga non negotiable. But when you get big wins against higher seeded teams, it will just propel you to a better position. Um, uh, Not to mention, make you more confident. Yeah. Because you're supposed to win against the lower rank teams. You're supposed to. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but. We're supposed to. So this is a long, they're taking, we're taking a long time here for this particular challenge. Earlier today, Signal venting its ire on uh, the strong group winning in three straight sets. Looks like it was too low. That is a tough angle to see, but they're officially going to call a block touch on Erika Santos. will be dead ball. He will be playing at that point. Yeah. Replay the point. Xavi will serve. Point will be replayed on serve four. Good first ball. Ooh! Nagawa pa ng parano si Si. Erica. Nabantayan na. 5-1. Si Rodina getting a kill block against Erica Santos. Mukhang she's on her way to her average of 20 plus points per game. Two, two blocks, 13 points. Average is almost 22. In a 38% success rate on her attacking two. Savvy receives. So it's out. Cap telling everybody she's trying to lift everybody's uh, mood here. Alam mo, alam mo hirap na hirap jan sa PLDT niyo. Sila Kiana, Sila Mika, that they hope that they could just come in and play and contribute. That's out. There will be another challenge on the side of Shoko Mojo, a ball in, ball out challenge. Leading supporters have shifted on the side of Choco Mucho. It's now Rondina yeah. leading the pack. Correct. And for PLDT, it's still Savvy Davison. Looking for somebody now who, to back her up here when you know, the pressure is high. Here in the PLDT side. This is a ball-in, ball-out challenge on that cross-court crawl ball of uh, CC Rondina. Ooh, it's out. So way out. By volleyball standards, yes. Tokomucho will lose one challenge opportunity. Right. While Palomata will serve again. It's really a mental game. Good reaction by Mars. CC without any blocker. That was a judgment call yeah. on the side of PLDT. Usually, pag malayo na talaga yung uh, broken play, nilibitawan na, but Pero, si you're si up against CC Rodina. <laughs> so maybe you could uh, set up at least one, one. blocker good point. to be able to get a touch on so. that ball. 
but it's just too low for Majoy Baroan. And this is where all of that experience of Choco Mucho from the last two conferences come into play. Not just the last one where they were, you know, rolling through the competition too. The, 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 the conference before that, uh, Neil, if you remember, they had a lot of five setters. Some of them they lost, some of them they won. But it made them a better team for last conference and brought them to the finals. And now they are digging into all of these experiences for another comeback here. 8-3, Choco Mucho. One-on-one, heart-to-heart -on -one, conversations with Mark Pingris and Vilas Legends tackling their life stories on and off the court. Puso Puso, exclusive on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. Got to give credit also, Neil, to the coaching of uh, Dante. Never panic. He just continued to send the consistent message that he knew. He knew they could come back. So which star is popping off today, yeah, I guess, will be the better question. And both stars, as expected, are delivering for their teams. Ponce. Andina now racking it up. Point number 16 for CC Rondina. They now have a six point lead. The tables have turned in the first two sets. Yeah. It was uh, PLDT controlling all aspects of the game. Now it's Choco Mucho's turn. Don't you just love volleyball, Neil? <laughs> it, it can just change just like that. Good save. And now. The hitters of PLDT over adjusting because of the blocking of Chocomucho. That is just uh, pure frustration on the side of uh, PLDT. Tang Ponce has been solid on the floor. She always talks to the blockers. Na iwan yung angulo kung saan siya nakapuesto. And they have had so much success oh, rate boy. as she gets another excellent dig. Balios with the push. That's still alive. Long ball. Alba back to Cat. This is the Choco Mucho we've been uh, looking for. That balanced effort from all sides of the court. Kanina si Navi Coach Dante, kayo lang ang mahaka figure out kung ano yung kailangan yung gawin. You can only do so much by giving these technical instructions. And it seems like nahanap na nila yung uh, system nila. 6 0 run, Neil. That's out. Everything happening now for the Chocomucho Flying Titans who are trying to force a fifth set. Time out, Coach Round. Really, 
it's like looking in the mirror. Whatever happened in the first two sets for PLDT is happening right now, but on Choco Mucho's side, the number one spiking team in PLDT against the number one blocking team of Choco Mucho. 7-0 run for the Flying Titans. Those are not good enough now. The defense has stepped up. <laughs> Look at that. Ponce all over the place. <laughs> that is the responsibility of Juan Tang Ponce. Her goal is to keep that ball in play and uh, let CZ Rondina work her magic. The assault continues. And Rondina, six points in this set, Neil. Kanina sabi natin na contain si CC. But now, CC and the rest of Choco Mucho have been unleashed. There's no containing them anymore. <laughs> They're sprinting to the finish line of set number four. They have an 11 point lead. And uh, all of the players right now are just focusing on their roles. CC's responsibility is to score. Ponce's responsibility is to keep that ball alive. And Mars Alba is just distributing uh, the ball well. She's having an easier time right now compared to the first two sets. Yes. Na halatang uh, mas maganda yung distribution ni Kim Fajardo. Coach Ralph not making any changes also in terms of the lineup. Just, just a reminder, Neil, yeah. PLDT was ahead. 18-13 in the third set. I will go back to that first match where they were ahead 5-0 in the fifth set. So, who will respond for them? Who will lead them? Who will relax them? That's the question we have for PLDT because we all know now we've seen the last couple of conferences you know, how Choco Mucho responds. Coach Ral just buying some time, I guess, to kill the momentum of Might be, the Flying yeah. Titans. Be. Because I think he's out of timeouts now, right? No? Yeah. And uh, that will be an unsuccessful challenge for VLDP. That was obvious that it really didn't go over. It didn't hit the hands of the blockers. Choco Mucho will get their 15th point. The score is 15 to 3 in favor of the Flying Titans. Biggest lead of the match was 13. That belonged to PLDT earlier. Finally, a point there from Erica Santos, who scores 11. The Trout will bring in Rea Di Makulangan, Jules Samonte. They need a change of pace. Yeah. That's why uh, Coach Trout called on the number of Rea Di Makulangan. Jules Samonte will also provide more offense in this rotation because they are not magal in set number four. Right. In set number three, rather. And Savvy was like a rotation away from coming in front. Sky ball. Cat asking for it. Too tight. Ad lib. Sabalos. Ponce. CC again. Good reaction there by Cat Arado, but unable to keep it in play. Point number 18. Mabula. <laughs> 16 fourth. It's all Choco Mucho in the fourth.
RPTV na ang official and exclusive na channel ng Pambansang Liga ng Bayan on free-to-air. Sabay-sabay natin subaybayan ng PBA Season 48 Philippine Cup. All games live dito sa RPTV para sa Pinoy. This is shaping up to be another five-setter between PLDT and Chocomucho. Of course, Chocomucho will welcome that because that's the only way they're going to try to win this match. PLDT ahead. Two sets to love. 18-13 in the third. And then, Chocomucho just worked themselves back one point at a time. Great timeouts by Coach Dante Alinsunuri. Great message in those timeouts. And then the rest was all CC Rondina in the end. PLDT needs to bring back their heavy service because it's not a lot. Tokomucho has been uh, passing that ball uh, really well to Mars Alba. A lot better than the first two sets, you know? Because that's where the problem was. The passing was really bad for Tokomucho. Sabalos. Unable to get it through. Cap Tolentino denied. Rondina with coverage. Counter attack. Samonde <laughs> with eight points for herself. Just the right amount of power to get it through the hands of Majoy Baron. That's in. Now, this, I, I'll always say this in every coverage that there's an opportunity to say it. You cannot let the set just go. Yeah. If you're, you have to find some rhythm to come back. fifth set. Correct. Kasi baka madala mo sa fifth set yung pagkalaylay ng katawan eh, no, Neil? Body language is very different on the side of the competitors now. Kanina, buhay na buhay yung PLDT. They were laughing, they were, you know, were just so vibrant now. That they're laboring through this fourth set. More substitutions on the side of uh, Coach Rald. Oh, again, uh, one of those uh, recruits. Kasabay nila si Sheila coming in. Sabalos to move out. So both teams have had 13 point leads already here in this match. What a strange <laughs> game. Off the fingertips. Molde enters double digits. We're also looking at the production of Lisa Molde in sets number one and two. Walang masyado. But now she is in double digits. Everybody is uh, displaying the focus that we saw on the side of PLDD in the first two frames. Maddie was there. CC, Arado, keeping it in play. Davison, Ponce has been spectacular. Davison again, straight into Ponce's arms. Molde, coverage by Tang. Tolentino, that's in! <laughs> Tang Ponce is having one of the games of her life. She's had a lot of good games, but uh, grabbing performance in the past uh, set and in this set. That's unbelievable. Commanding 14-point yeah, yeah. lead. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the word. <laughs> Ponce again. Wong! Everything clicking for Choco Mucho here, Neil. 
Arado doing coverage too. Again, third time. CC from behind. Oh! oh. <laughs> it tied on the side of PLDT. Overpass coming from Chocomucho. Free ball for PLDT. Nobody taking it. Like so Ponce will get a point. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like uh, Dina Wong was going to save that ball. Yeah, she will be credited for that point, Neil. So all that hard work that she's been doing, at least a one point siya. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> Bonus point. Until Dino trabaho ni Tang Ponce. Gee, what, what a job. Again. 25 excellent okay, digs geez. and 11 excellent receptions. Just um, Parang feel ko mas madami pa. <laughs> Hindi lang in 25. And one point, by the way. <laughs> Dagdag mo dun. <laughs> Just incredible effort. Incredible read, instincts, effort. This is from uh, Royce Tibino. We'll hear the DLDP point number eight. Nobody here in PLDT is, it, is talking, Neil. Nobody's like trying to get them together. Chance to counter here. Davison again. <laughs> How many times have we seen this from Ponce? Miscalculated and mishit by Palomata. Just three points away from sending us to a fifth. Palomata will move out. Jesse De Leon comes back, uh, comes in for the first time. My question also here is Davison feeling a little fatigued now, Neil, because all the balls are going to her. She has been getting checked by the defense of Choco Mucho as well. That's a good change in direction for Davison. She has been trying to get the points off that cross court kill, but she has to remember na intentional iniiwan ng Choco Mucho yung cross court angle. Kasi Para kay Ponce. Tang Ponce. So she can uh, utilize the, uh, the down the line hit. She can hit it off the blockers of Choco Mucho or go for a soft tip. Nine serving 22. Wong to CC. Two hands. Good save there by Bedonia. Oh! And then I think, as we know, I'm sure Coach Ral fielding in this, you know, this team now to let the others rest a little bit. Get their bearings back. Sila Kim, Sila Ceballo, Sila Santos. Get their bearings back and get ready for that fifth set, which is highly likely going to happen. Oh, what a hit. Very acute angle there. Rookie in the PBL introducing herself. That cross court kill. Wow. Heads of everybody there. That's too low. Leon will continue to serve for PLDT. For the starters of PLDT, they really need to get a hot start in uh, the fifth set. Get their confidence back. Because that girl has snuffed out any kind of confidence that they had after the first two sets. 19 points creeping into her average. 15 coming from her attack. 3 from the blocks and 1 from uh, the service line. 13 set points. And Chocomucho, a 
extends this to a fifth set for the second time, second consecutive time for these two teams. When they won uh, that third set, we felt like uh, everything was going to change. And yun nga yun nangyari. <laughs> we'll be heading into a fifth set between PLDT and uh, the Flying Titan. Let's see how PLDT responds in set number five. Well, that is the story of the first four sets. 2-0 for PLDT, and then 2-0 for Choco Mucho. And their fans continuing to roar from sets 3 to 4. We'll show you some set 4 highlights, but most of them really belong to uh, the undefeated team here in the PBL. The frustration just setting on the side of the high-speed hitters. Uh, they had 43 attempts in attacking the defense of Choco Mucho, but they were only able to convert seven, so that's a 60% of efficiency for the energy. And as we expected, DC Rondina just needed one or two impact plays to get her going. She has found her rhythm in sets number three and four, and they dominated the blocking department in set number four as well, getting four against the zero of PLDT. So, uh, this is interesting here at the start of the fifth set. Uh, Neil, they're going to go with Petonia to start the fifth set. Coach Raldis with Davison, uh, Majoy, and Erica Santos. I don't know, do you see Sebaldos on the bench? Because I saw her run to the locker room when she was subbed out. So, I don't know if she has returned. Uh, I think she's there. But they're going to start with uh, the newbie, the rookie. Here we go. Set number five here at the PVL. As expected, these two teams who have championship dreams gutting it out. Fardo with a tough dig. Davison. Ponce again. Counter attack. <laughs> All important first point. Davison will have nightmares of Tang Ponce tonight. PLDT continues to challenge the defense of Tang Ponce. She's just collecting excellent play from left to right. 1-0 Choco Mucho. 2-0. We noticed this a while ago as well. Medyo nawala yung production ni Savi Davis. Only one point in that fourth set. Nagkaroon ng dip in production. Then uh, Choco Mucho also changed their target. And suddenly, they're really putting pressure on uh, the top performer on the side of PLDT. Back to her. Gets it back. She changes the direction of her attack there. But in transition, here comes Choco Mucho. Reverse the cat over the blockers. Calf reverses. 
That's in. That's the girl who might provide them with some relief points when they're overloading on Savvy Davison. Great reverse set there. Cherry Luna, who was uh, too late for the close-up. One serving two. So Savvy goes back. CC. That is the reason why you have to set up your net defense, even if it is an out-of-system play. Para sa Choco Mucho, because she will continue to pound on that ball, always at 100%. No look, down the line hit. 22 points for the cherry bomb. Majoy identifying that donut hole as we send it over to Sam Corrales. Now the comeback is real for the Chocomucha Flying Titans showing grit and why they are the only undefeated team so far. Now the usual game plan was said uh, before the fifth set started. Sabini coach Dante Kalmalang and as per Madi Madayag, focus pa rin guys. Now on the other side of things for PLDT, they will try to get their groove back. I got to speak to Del Palomata on cue who said that Coach Rao reminded them, masyadong naninigas, kailangan lang tayong bumawe in this set and recover. Back to you, Bumi. That's a perfect report there, Sam. Talagang, they really look very tight in that Choco Mucho comeback. And for PLDT, their middles really have to power through the defense of uh, Choco Mucho. Yung mga power tip, it can work sometimes, but it won't work all the time. Yeah. Chance here to take the lead. Santos! She has slowed down. She did not score a single point in the previous set. No, let me check that. Let me correct. She, she did score one, but now she's at 13. Okay, so Missy Gal Dito Salikud Natin, a PLDT fan, a puso. And that's what Neil is saying. You gotta dig down deep in a match like this. That's still alive. Savvy. All alone. Ponce chasing. Chance ball here. What will Calf do? Santos again! Two-point lead for PLDT! Hot hand for the high-speed hitters. There will be times na mababatan talaga si Sammy Davidson. So, as we mentioned earlier, Erika Santos needs to step up. And yeah. right now, she is yes. stepping up big time for PLDT. And Calf is telling everybody to come alive. Calf is the one who's trying to pump up this team. But don't forget Cat Tolentino. <laughs> Bomb set from the left pin all the way to the right. Cat Tolentino just using that wrist action. CC is in the back. Petonia, the rookie. Calf. Goes the middle. Gutsy play by the veteran. A party by and a dip dip, as we always say in the fifth set. Who's got the guts? And as Sam said, who's got the grit? We're in a battle here, 6 4. Tolentino, rebound. Arado. Alba with a dig. What a set. What a set by Tang Ponce. <laughs> she can be a setter. <laughs> so much control on that bump set. Look at her. Perfect set to Cat. And Cat obliges. Full swing on that. Yeah. On the right side. Five serving six. Savvy again. Cool. He takes the first ball. Pedonia, bounce back. Palik na naman sa kanya. Wow, Neil. How about the newbie? That is not easy. You're one of the rookies in the PBL. You're up against the undefeated team in Choco Mocho, and you're in a fifth set situation. And you were in front of the best blocker of the league? <laughs> Good serve. Good serve. 
And out of system, CC jumps. Palomata. Mal Alba will go back to Cat. Good rebound there. Back to Davison. Ponce again. Rondina with the counter. Calf goes to Bedonia. Ponce will set up Molde. Davison was there. Santos overcooks it. What action, Neil? <laughs> the Liberos are exchanging excellent digs. Scott Arado manning the floor for the high speed hitters. And uh, again, Tang Ponce, halos walang bumababa. Dun sa zone na binabantayan niya. Catalentino already has uh, 16 points. Ooh, that's point number 17 off that service ace as she ties things up at a 7 all. Arado was there, but that net really disrupted her timing. Pressure mounting. 2 all, 7 all. This is great theater unfolding here. At the Phil Oil Echo Oil. What an ad lib by Cap. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> how you hard though. By the way, she's got seven points in this game, Neil, today. Over. That was a half hard. The student. Yeah. The side of Mars Alba. So again, when you make a decision, you have to really commit to it. Huh? She was already there. If she put her hands up properly, she could have defended that ball well. And that's experience, or in the in her case, maybe lack of also. She's still gaining experience here. While Fajardo has a wealth and a treasure chest of experience. Oh, what a battle here, 8-7. Thanks for all watching on One Sports on the Filipinas Live app. And on RPTV, Boom Gonzalez, Neil Flores, Sam Corrales, PLDT clinging on to a one-point lead. Shia Caseo, the newbies from PLDT. Cat from the right side, dug up by Bedonia. Davison fires off the rebound. CC from behind. So dynamic and can fire from anywhere on the court. Rondina hangs, hits. 23 points for CC Rondina. It's going to be a photo finish. Davison with the reply. Finally, she avoids <laughs> Tang Ponce's uh, defense. Good idea. 9-8. Fifth set. Neil service is at the premium here. Ooh, service is at the premium here. With a crucial service ace against Isa Molde. Eight points for her, by the way. This is the strategy from the first two sets, Neil. Could serve again. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna call up. Oh, uh, that will be an illegal block called on Kim Fajardo. Ah. Based on the perspective of our first referee, the ball was already on the side of Chocomucho when uh, Madi Madayag went for that block. That's uh, international referee Nestor Bello. No, he's not changing his mind. Oh, but there, no, I don't think that will be a challengeable. Yeah, you ball. can't challenge that, right? Yeah, this challenge will not be allowed. Because, hindi because the call, yes, yes. Inilalaban nila, it was an illegal attack from Kim Fajardo. Yes. Now, this is a crucial part because not just from a point standpoint, Neil, but from a concentration and focus standpoint. Tight ball there. Unfortunately, they cannot challenge that. Yes. It's not either way. Yes. So, Ju ito judgment, judgment call. Talaga. 
And again, Neil, this is what I mean. This is not a... And Majoy is telling the girls to focus because, again, this can be a distraction. Actually, to both teams. This doll can yeah. be a double-edged sword. Yeah. The yeah. They have a two-point lead. If they lose this point, meron pang isa. And they will have the opportunity to attack the defense of Chocomucho. Right. And uh, PLDT is continuing to raise that challenge card of a block touch. I think somebody has to explain to them. Well, Kat, Kat Arado is talking to both Fernando Velarde and Nestor Bello here. So the call sticks. Chocomocho will serve. A non-challengeable call. Crucial point of this match. And Maddie is taking it all in. Focusing on the serve. Savvy. This will be a free ball for PLDT. Back to Erica. Oh. One on one. Rondina shuts the door. That might be the biggest impact play of the set. Rondina. You see how fast she got there, Neil? From the middle? Slow mo na yun, eh? si Erica Santos. Dead all. Misreceived. Savvy tips it over and still scores. 21 points for her. It was uh, very obvious that Davison was going to push that ball. She right. was able to go for an approach, but Mars Alba still went for that block. These are all things that she will learn as she goes into this professional career of hers, Mars Alba. Over received. Arado was there. <laughs> Majoy just tipping it over. Rondina does not make them pay. She miss hits. Two point lead PLDT. This coach Dante Alinsunuri, huh? You can see it in his face. He wants this game. And uh, that girl been in too. A similar situation. Yeah. Not just in this game, not just in the previous sets, but in the past. Yep. They were able to make a comeback. But and again, for PLDT, sobrang importante na yung killer instinct nandon. They need somebody who will really ask for the ball. Yeah, yeah. will deliver in the most crucial times. Now, Savvy's in the back. She'll be serving. Majoy, Santos, Bedonia is in front. What trust by Coach Ral to just dispatch this girl at the end of the fourth set and use her in this crucial fifth. Nalunod na! Nakascore pa rin! Gamble yon on the side of Mars Alba. Good thing. Enough yung uh, reach ni Cherry Luna to put that ball over. 11, serving 12. <laughs> what a game! Davison receiving. Petonia. CC. Blocked. Ball that chases. Chance ball. Cat. Calf, Majoy, back set, denied, dive, Davison will send it over. Tolentino scores! Cat Tolentino against a single block on the side of PLDT. PLDT had a lot of chances to get that point. Yeah. 
They had a two-point two lead, Neil, 12-10. But Savvy went behind, and she's still going to be behind for a while. How will they survive this? The answer <laughs> is Keisha Petonia. You know what I always say about youngsters and rookies, Neil? They either will under the pressure or they don't care. <laughs> They're too young or too new to care. Sometimes they don't feel the pressure. They don't feel the pressure. They don't keep on hitting. Yep. I mean, what an opportunity for her, Neil. 12 for Chocomucho, 13 for PLDT. Tank pass from Chocomucho. And uh, Rosina will still score. Oh, I, Erica Santos came up hobbling, but she shakes it off. 13 all, fifth set. Price, the price of admission is so worth it watching this match if you're here in the Phil Oil, Echo Oil. Davison is in the back row still. And so, Petonia says, okay lang. I'm Next here. point! <laughs> what a substitution for Coach Valdry Caport. Petonia getting crucial points for the high-speed hitters, and they are now at match point. Ceballos, who hasn't played since early in the fourth set, sent here to serve. Whistle starts. Match point, PLDT. Sharp serve. Tolentino, long hit. Long hit. PLDT. Barring a challenge. Barring a challenge. Let's not make it official yet. Did you see anything, Neil, or was it too fast or too high? Walang masyadong spin on that hit of Kat. Parang may pagkamis hit, no? There's a chance that it really went out of bounds. And uh, looking at the floor of PLDT, Bedonia and uh, Del Palomata, both are very confident that they didn't touch the ball. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> edge of their seats. Even the, the edge, managers. Edge of their seats or standing up. Challenge, 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 unsuccessful. PLDT has done it. They stay strong and stave off the Chocomucho Flying Titans with a signature win. There will be no undefeated teams in the PPL now. This is a statement from the PLDT. They are contenders this season, and it's just uh, going to be exciting from here on out. Great effort on the side of Choco Mucho to get sets three and four. But the game changer really for me was Bedonia. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, Royce Tabino getting kisses from uh, her former teammates. Man Mendrez, too. A great gesture. Great competition by these two teams, Neil. These, these are the goosebump kind of games that we love and enjoy in the PVL. Auto finish 15 13 in favor of the high speed hitters. Signature win. Probably the biggest win in their franchise in, in recent memory. And it's meaningful because it gets them up there to four and one. That is a confirmation on the big board. 25-20, 25-12, 23-25, 11-25, and a tight and pressure-packed 15-13 win by PLDT over Choco Mucho. Sam Corrales is with our player of the match. Yes, joining me now is our best player of the game. We have Kim Fajardo of PLDT with a big, huge statement win over the Chocomucho Flying Titans. No sweep here this conference. So, Kaf, 
kwenta mo naman sa amin. You were in control at the start. Medyo nawala kayo mid-game. Pero paano kayo bumawi sa dulo? Um, ini, sa akin ha, sa person um, ano lang eh. Inisip ko talaga yung pagod kung paano kami nag nag-prepare para sa game na to. Yun talaga, sakripisyo namin. Kasi alam namin, Choco Mucho is a, is a team that's so, so tough. Sakto kasi nag-usap tayo sa dugout before the game. Sabi mo nga, more than one week ang naging preparation ninyo. Ano yung naging susi, yung biggest factor kung bakit nakuha ninyo ang panalo? Talaga yun lang eh, yung sakripisyo ng bawat isa, mapa coaches, mga teammates ko. Yun talaga kasi nakikita ko sa training, sobrang hirap na hirap. Makakapagod talaga, yung pagod ba? Yun talaga yung naging motivation para makuha namin. Sa fifth set, naramdaman mo pa ba yung pagod? I mean, during the huddle, sabi kasi ni Coach Ralph, medyo na nagas kayo and you had to loosen up. What went on in that fifth set? Sa fifth set, alam namin pagod na kami. Kung pagod kami, pagod din sila. Yun lang naman yun eh. So, sino yung unang titiklop? Sinong mas mapapagod? At sino yung matibay talaga? Yun yung mananalo. A well-deserved win for you. Marami, maraming tao ang nag-support sa inyo today. Meron ka bang message to your family, friends, and to all the fans of PLDT here today? Unang-una, uh, una, maraming salamat sa nanood na live sa inyo lahat. Maraming pong salamat. Kahit kaninong team yan na sinusuportahan nyo, maraming salamat sa pag-support ng volleyball. And syempre, Binabati <laughs> uh, ko yung family ko sa Batangas. Maraming sila mga support. Uh, yung lola ko, yung Tito Albert ko, tsaka si Maita. Hello. Oh, message mo naman sa teammates mo. Huh? Message sa teammates mo. Guys, maraming salamat ha. Maraming salamat. Para sa atin lahat to. Sa management, sa PLDT management. Maraming salamat sa support ha. Tsaka sa fans sa PLDT. Maraming salamat po. And there you have it, our best player of the game, Kim Fajardo. Back to you. Excellent job, Sam. And, you know, they... They needed all the 21 points of Savvy Davidson. They needed Bedonia in that fifth set. But Cap was the one telling them to stay strong. She was the one lifting their spirits. She was the one keeping them in the fight. And we're not surprised. We've seen that from her even in college. 22 excellent sets for Kim Pajardo. And aside from that, she had a lot of excellent digs. Again, Libero-like performances in uh, some of the rallies that we had. So it was an all-around performance, solid performance for Kim Pajardo. All right, so great game today. Great games on Thursday at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Capital One Solar Spikers, Cream Line. Can't believe I'm going to say this, trying to bounce back here. Uh, while that big one between the Petrogas Angels and the Cherry Tigo crossovers, that's going to be huge also here in the PVL. Wow, what a day where we saw Signal vent their ire on the strong group athletics earlier in the first game. CC Rondina, Coach Dante Elinsurin did everything right in sets three and four to come back. But PLDT stayed strong. Coach Raul with some gutsy, gutsy moves from the bench to take this fourth win for them in five outings. For Neil Flores, Sam Corrales, I'm Boom Gonzalez. See you Thursday for more PVL Action, the heart of volleyball.